Everybody stop what you're doing and let me ask you a very important question. Have you ever wanted to build a really big angry monkey? Well now you can, with Godzilla and Kong, the new Empire figures from Mega, these buildable monkey and dinosaur, they look pretty incredible. There's a couple of things I would change about them and we're gonna get into that, I've read a lot of feedback online, but in general, they look pretty damn good. And we're gonna go through some images. I've put together a really nice presentation and you know, rendered them in a nice way or at least positioned them in a nice way so they, they look really good. Uh, first of all, they were listed on amazon.com and they do look, yeah, pretty substantial. I think the general consensus online is people prefer the Kong over the Godzilla and we will get into that. Uh, there is just something a little haunting about that face. Um, but there is a lot of things I like about this, and there's a lot of things in these sets that show why Mega is such a big player in the construction building stratosphere, and we're gonna get into that as well. So, I'll put them all together. Uh, shout out to Mega Constructs News. Uh, they listed the Amazon products first on Twitter. I've seen these in person. I've held them in my hand. They are substantial. They are really good, um, and there's a lot I wanna talk about. So, here we are. Godzilla and Kong the New Empire. No longer Godzilla v Kong. I guess they teamed up now and they're gonna be fighting some other monkeys and there's a baby Kong or something. I watched the trailer a couple of times. I watched it just before this. Uh, it's a lot of noise and there's a lot of things um, that actually I kind of feel like mega. Um, so the, the, one of the main criticisms I had with the trailer was uh, a lot of different shots. It was really difficult to scale how big uh, like proportionately Kong and Godzilla are. There's a shot where they're running towards the camera at the end of the trailer. It's the one that's been gifted and memed the most. And it's very difficult to actually determine how big they are because they're both next to each other just running in uh, a cave that is not really like, it's not a normal, it's not a natural formation. It's a, well it is, but <laughs> you get what I mean. I'm trying to make a Halo reference, but it, it's, a, it's a cave in a new world empire thing. I don't know, it, it's subterranean or something. And it's it's a little difficult to gauge how big they are. What I really like about these mega sets is there are little diorama pieces. It's what mega has always done so well and they showcase the actual scale. Now any Halo Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs, Mega Fan will notice the return of one of the most iconic pieces <laughs> in Halo Mega, which is this base plate. It's been in so many sets and it's pretty cool to actually see it back in this kind of scale. And it's made me think that like maybe one day I need to host some kind of like miniature scale diorama to like custom contest or something because this, uh, particularly this hospital is so cool. And in some of the shots you can see Godzilla's like knocked it over. I love the helipad. Um, it, the whole thing, it, like they've done the scale perfectly. They've really nailed uh, the, the, the whole, well, the whole scale, the whole, like, you can feel like these sets in their miniature dioramas, like Godzilla and Kong, are actually monsters in the MonsterVerse versus just building a monkey, if you get my drift. Um, also, they've definitely, like, embraced this, like, new approach to the Godzilla uh, or the MonsterVerse franchise, where, like, clearly the new movie is very goofy and very, like... Um, you know, pushing the boundaries of belief, which is, you could always be like, well, it's a, it's a movie about a big dinosaur that lives underground. Yeah, I know, but these are clearly like a more goofy take, particularly Godzilla. Like when, uh, I mean Kong, when I first saw uh, these prototypes in person, it was so funny to see him holding this like big mace and a mo uh, like a gauntlet. I'm like, has he is he collecting the Infinity Stones? Like it was very bizarre, but um, apparently, like now it's funny seeing these prototypes in person, and then in the future seeing the trail and being like, oh, I get it now, because <laughs> it it didn't really make sense back then. Um, I love the uh, very bright, uh, sort of audacious packaging. Um, Mega's really done a good job recently at slimming down the packaging, slimming down the design, so it's way more streamlined, and it really makes the actual uh, as the the, the, the element that they're selling pop out of the packaging. You, it, it's quite clear here what you're actually buying. They've got some kind sort of like um, very faded uh, element in the background and these crystal caves, which uh, I, I guess are gonna be a big portion of the movie or a big part of the movie uh, in terms of the biomes they're in. Now, let's talk about Godzilla first. I mean, the Kong, I said that, <laughs> I said Godzilla, you know what, fine, I said Godzilla, so I'll talk about Godzilla first. And look at that, it's the first slide. I was meant to say Kong, but here we are. Um, a lot of printed detailing, which is absolutely to be expected from Mega, um, but maybe a bit more printed detailing on Kong. 
Um, so we've got the face. I, I've seen that one of the main criticisms of this Godzilla is that it's like, it just requires a bit more articulation, particularly in the neck. Like one more neck joint would have made it feel maybe a little less claustrophobic, but I mean, that's, that's an opinion. Um, that is an opinion that exists. Um, I don't really know what new pieces there are. So obviously we've got the, the face, uh, totally new pieces and lovely printing there. They have to like, here's the thing. The Kong face to me is more realistic, um, more sort of photorealistic, um, and that's because they're not, in my opinion, constricted to having this massive flame that comes out of uh, Godzilla's mouth, but uh, you know, maybe that, that restricted them slightly in the design, but I do really like it. Good sort of, um, it's, ver it's very modular, like you clearly build the different chunks and ball joint pop them together, which I've always liked in different mega builds. Um, it takes me back to, gosh, the original Dragons line, even like, I remember the original Lego Harry Potter line collecting the Basilisk that was very modular, or at least snapped together. Um, so, love these um, crystals, love like his new... I'm gonna like, I, I wish, I think a lot of people that like are really into uh, the MonsterVerse will be like, don't you know the name of this form of Godzilla? No, I don't. I'm not a big MonsterVerse fan. I enjoy the movies. I'm a casual enjoyer. I'll definitely enjoy building these for sure. Um, all the printed detailing I'm not really seeing. Um, also, like, maybe uh, a couple of different shades of grey would have added some depth, but I really do enjoy these crystal pieces. It looks like there's a couple of new pieces at least, um, and then... We've got the, the fingertips, the hand is clearly new. Um, there's gonna be maybe some new pieces on the feet. And then this lovely, lovely hospital. I Just another big shout out to this hospital build. I'm a big fan. Um, I, it's really fun. You can also obviously have this flame shooting out of his mouth. I'm sure customizers will be able to make all sorts of different colors. And these um, translucent blue pieces we've always enjoyed from like the buildable energy sword from Mega and various other things. Uh, the Godzilla, I'm gonna give it a solid seven out of 10. It's got the scale right. It's got, uh, it feels like a clunky slow monster, which Godzilla usually is, except I guess he's running in this movie. But um, I, I think it's pretty spot on. Um, what really shines for me is this Kong. Uh, it's got lovely printed detailing on the chest and you can see like there's really fine textures there as well which go a long way. Uh, the printed detailing on the face, the eyes, um, and the teeth printed onto pieces. Um, I think so anyway from what I can see. Loads of printed detailing on the gauntlet, uh, movable fingers there and some little disc inside and a lovely design on this club. I think, to be honest, the molding budget, um, the general budget has probably gone into Kong more than Godzilla, if I was to make a guess. Um, and then, well, I guess, you know, the, don't don't um, shy away from like all these printed pieces on the hospital as well, That is that is pretty good. I guess there's no printed pieces on the waterfall, but again, I, I also like that, like, you know, th th these uh, diorama pieces, they're way more um, fitting to each of the monsters, like Godzilla is always trashing um, a, a city, and God, uh, Kong sort of lives in the jungle, so has a waterfall, so I do like that nice touch, it's very aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing to have both of those different things with their monsters. Um, yeah, I, I think generally from what I've seen online, the um, the feedback to this Kong is really good. People seem to really like it. Um, and the, the fingers or the toes as well, um, everything seems to work really well for me here. I, I'm a big fan of this. Um, he's also very glossy. He's just had a, a nice hot um, bath and uh, a, a, a deep tissue massage. <laughs> okay, we got some really in-depth looks at the, oh look, See, see, I was wrong. I've immediately been proved wrong. Um, I've looked over these assets, but um, yeah, here I am again. And I guess, yeah, there's all those printed details on the scales there. That is not bad. Um, that is something I missed in that first image. Um, oh yeah, I guess easy to see. Look at me. I guess I'm recording this at uh, quarter past five uh, in the afternoon and ready to clock off for the day. But yeah, I, I, I think that's a lot of good printed detailing, I guess. I did miss those scales. Um, yeah, look at that. We've got Godzilla um, knocking over the building there. Really fun. It's interesting how the lights would sort of remain. Uh, that's meant to be like a floor of a building, but that's like a tiny, tiny nitpick. It's whatever. Um, and the toes, uh, yeah, the feet do look really good there. Uh, 
well, I guess like a bit of a strange shape for a foot, bit of a strange, but, but you're working with what you've got. Like it is difficult to make um, scale replicas of these in building, you know, construction products. Um, we've got the little mega logo is just noticeable um, a couple of times on the figures, but not like it's not everywhere, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, this club looks really nice. I need to see some like Master Chief V Kong. Like there's gotta be some bit, like there has to be some big dioramas of like Chief V Godzilla, Chief V Kong. Um, oh, oh! I will actually, I will actually look forward to doing that. That's that's a really good idea. Um, yeah, they look great. Um, here's the sizing for you. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That just looks fun. That just looks so fun. And it, I don't know. A lot of um, the mega products that they make, like some are just one-off collaborations, like the Witcher product. It seems to just be one thing that they produced. Um, but this this looks really fun. Um, I hope they do more, is what I'm saying. So 31 centimeters uh, long for the Godzilla boy, and 20 centimeters tall. That's a tall monkey. That's a big monkey. You gotta, you gotta respect a big monkey. Um, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, I didn't really miss off much else. Uh, you can just see the nice coloring on that gauntlet. Um, I love that battle damage, and yeah, the, oh yeah, you can really see um, these, uh, they might be hexagonal, they might just be little dots, but um, they, they, uh, I love that kind of texture design. It's really smart, really smart. Uh, Mega have come so far with their printed detailing. Um, and there, there they are, broken apart into wee little bits. Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, uh, are coming soon. They're a spring line models, and I'm really excited for them. I am particularly now, now <laughs> my mind's going wild thinking about uh, that I could actually do like Master Chief V Kong dioramas and things. That is a lot of fun to think about. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below, folks. Um, I, I'm definitely gonna be picking up the Kong, um, and I hope the Godzilla as well, we'll see. Um, but they they do stand out for me. They're, they're great little additions. It's always good to see Mega branching out into new lines and the potential of these uh, going forward is pretty huge too. Let me know down below as well if you'd like me to cover, um, I'm, I, I would love to cover the new pixel art Pokemon releases and uh, let me know if that's a video you'd like to see. But in general, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there folks. Rate them down below out of 10. The most detailed comment, the most accurate comment um, I will pin and have a great day. See you next time and I'll see you in the movie theaters for Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire, signing off. Thank you.